Hello and welcome to another WordPress tutorial video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a hero section of your website, the sort of front page, as a video background. Okay, we're going to be doing that. We've got a brand new website with nothing installed on it at all. Um, so yeah, let's flip over to the computer and I'll show you how to do it. All right, okay, so here we are. We are inside a brand new domain, okay? Um, this has had WordPress installed on the hosting that I'm with. So we've got a brand new website with just WordPress and that's it. Okay. So first thing is we're going to need a couple of plugins. So we're going to go down here. We're going to go to install. We're going to go add new. And we're going to install the page builder Elementor, which is this one here. Okay. So I click on install and we'll then activate. Okay, and then once that's done, we're going to go to Appearance. And it will tell you now to register your Elementor. So if you do need to do that, then you will need to do that. I've already got one. Um, so I'm just going to skip through this at the minute. You don't need to add anything here for the purpose of this tutorial. Okay, and we're just going to leave it like that. And we're just going to skip through that as it is. So here's our first page, Elemental. We've done nothing yet, so we're not too worried about that. So we're just going to exit out of that for now, okay? Now, we want to install a theme, okay? For this, I'm going to go themes. Obviously, we've got the current ones on. So I'm going to just install another theme. Now, yours may be slightly different, but if we're building with Elemental, it shouldn't really matter too much. But there's a theme that I like, which is called Astra. So we're going to install this. Okay, and then once that's installed, click Activate. Okay, and there we go. So let's have a little live preview there. So there we go. So there's our basic framework, if you like. Okay, so we're going to exit back out. Right, so we're going to go and click on Appearance. Okay. And then you see this bit at the top where it says install starter templates. Okay. I'm just going to click on that. All right. And then once that's done, we can go down here to where it says starter templates. And we're just going to install a quick one. It's going to ask us what we're using. We're going to be using Elementor for this. So we're going to click on that. And then we're just going to install one just for demo purposes. Okay. So this one here looks fine. I'm just going to click on that. Okay, that's fine. We're going to skip and continue, and we're going to just install that theme template. Okay, this is up to you if you want to put your details in there and sign up to their newsletter. So, submit and build. This will take a few minutes. This is just to give us an idea. Uh, this is just to give us a sort of a basic template, just so I can show you how you can change that front section um, to your video right so there you go so that's now done right so let's have a look we go back to wordpress dashboard and we've now got some pages hopefully okay yeah we've now got some pages okay so we're going to change the home page so let's go edit with elemental right so this is the section okay and obviously we're going to change this home page we're going to change this front sort of hero section um, to have a video now for me it looks much better if you do it as full screen but that's entirely up to you so for the purpose of this tutorial I will be making it full screen so we need to look at this section here so this is the section that we're going to be editing um, so this whole this top section on in the edit in the elemental editor is the one we're going to be changing okay so if we click on the six dots, and then we go style, this is the picture you can see. It's currently a picture, okay, which is absolutely fine, because that, that was what it was that we installed. But we obviously want to change that now to a video. But first of all, we want to make that full screen, okay? So if we go over to layout, if we go to height, fit to screen. You'll just see that that now... Is now expanded to cover the full screen so if we do a preview of that that is now what it will look like okay so we're going to now change this to our video 
Okay. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can either upload a video that you've already got into your media file and then use that link, or you can pull one from somewhere else. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to just use something off of YouTube. Okay. So let's head over to YouTube. And we're going to go to um, maybe do some clouds stock. footage okay so let's click on that and we'll have a look okay so we've got this one there there's this one here there's plenty of options here that one looks really good so let's click on that and we're just going to grab the link so there's the link there we're just going to copy that go back to our elemental dash so and then where it says background type we've currently got an image Obviously, we're going to hover over that and we're just going to click on video. And then where it says video link, we're going to paste it in there. Okay. So we pasted our link in. And now, as you can see, there you go. So when this video, when this front page now loads up, you'll get that really nice video footage background. Now, there are some filters and everything like that that you can do with this. You can play around with start time you can play around with you know it does it repeat etc etc you can decide whether you have this on mobile and everything like this you can also put a background on should it not play which is a good idea um so yeah and and but in terms of filtering if you go to background overlay you can actually darken it or lighten it or do whatever you want sorry i didn't mean to do that if you go to background overlay and you click on the color here you'll see if I change that, that changes the tint on this. So you can change it to however you want. So maybe you've got a branding on your website or something like that. Or maybe you've got, I don't know, a logo color, which you want to kind of keep it throughout. You can do that by using this tint. Okay, so let's just for the purpose of this show you what I mean. So if you made it red, you could do that. And then if you go down to the opacity, that tells you how much you wanted to use of that. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So we go update. And then we'll make that our main page and we'll go and have a look at it as it would look in real. So we're going to exit out. And we're going to go down to settings, which is reading, and we're going to change our home page to that home page. Save. Okay. And then visit the website. And there we go. So that is a full screen video background for your hero section, which looks absolutely brilliant. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much.